Welcome back, everybody. So today we're going to be talking about the Atari 2600. Um, if there's anything I missed during this whole video, please leave me a, a comment. You know, give me a heads up of what I missed. So we're going to go ahead and start from, you know, the beginning. Now, the Atari 2600 was released in 1977 of September. Attention shoppers. The new Atari cartridge game is in. Excuse me. <laughs> Uh-oh. George again. Ooh, Atari's air feedback. It comes with 27 games, but that's just for starters. You can get nine cartridges, 187 Ooh, games. Blackjack. <laughs> oh! I'd like an Atari. Sorry. Only our demonstrators left. Mine! No, George. Mine. The new video computer system by Atari. <laughs> more games, more fun. This was the second generation of console that had uh, had came out. Now, this is not the first. A lot of people think Atari 2600, you know, first console ever released. It was not. The first generation of console was the Magnavox Odyssey. That came out in about 1972. So this was, you know, little dot, if I recall, you know, something like that where you just played and you have to, you know, really have a big time imagination. <laughs> so there was that. And then even for the second generation consoles, which the Atari 26 is a second gen console, it wasn't the first one to ever be released. The first one was the Fairchild uh, Channel F. Now, that was the first console, and it was actually the first console to ever introduce a uh, cartridge. I learned that actually from that high score. I think I told you guys about uh, that show that is on Netflix called High Score. They taught you, they teach you about that. So that's where I got that from. <laughs> um so the Atari 2600 is based off the Atari Pong uh, cabinet. You know, I guess they they had like a, um, a Pong cabinet out there and people loved it. It played so well. They're like, yo, let's make this into a uh, um, to a console, you know, and they did. And, they, you know, it's what it is to this day, obviously. So the Atari claims to be 8-bit. I get it. It says 8-bit, but let's be honest, it, it played like a 4-bit console. Come on. You know, those graphics were because you later on, you, you'll understand why I say that. So the console, when it first came out, it was released with two controllers and combat. So with that, I consider combat being the first game to ever be released on the Atari 2600. OK, that that's my theory, at least there was other games that came out separately, but you had to purchase those. So, you know, that that's that's how I see it. Um, it was actually priced at one hundred and ninety nine dollars today. That would have been eight hundred and fifty dollars today. People, you know, complain and bitch about, you know, the Xbox or the PlayStation being five hundred dollars, five fifty. This was two hundred dollars in the seventies, the seventies. All right. So that's crazy. Um, so <laughs> this is something when I found this out, I was pretty much flipping out. Pac-Man was the best selling game for that uh, for that console. Pac-Man, that fucking game I played that was trash. I get it. Pac-Man was also a cabinet game and it was probably freaking big and everyone was like jumping on it. Same with Pong. Pong, you know, Pac-Man, that's what they knew. They went towards it. But I bet you they're disappointed. <laughs> um, Clanks was actually one of the last games that came out in the 90s. Yep, the 90s. 90s in June, okay? 1990 of June. But before all that had happened, there was a video game crash of 1983. So what happened was all, you know, games were coming out that were terrible, like E.T. Um, honestly, that's the only one I can remember. <laughs> it's E.T. I just like there was a whole thing about how E.T. was a reason, but it wasn't. There was other games, too. Just the quality of the games went completely straight down. So Atari, you know, uh, decided to get rid of all of its games. So the whole crash was going on and all that stuff. So Atari had to get rid of it. So they actually buried all their games is in this place called uh, Almogordo, New Mexico. I don't know if I said that right, but that's what it was. There was over 700,000 games buried there. So many games. That's crazy. You know, but uh, the crazy part is a year before that, Atari had released a console uh, called the Atari 5200. Okay. The 5200, it was released in 1982. The console was already discontinued in 1984 so they didn't even last it it got canceled quick 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 so that's crazy but um in 1985 nintendo released the nes all right 
So the Nintendo had just came out. Generation 3 console, out. It's out there, baby. And um, in 1986, the video game, you know, industry, all that came back. It was saved. Nintendo, you know, did all that. You know, it was crazy. So Atari was like, shit, you know what? Let's do a a redesign. Let's do a whole set of uh, Atari 2600. So they decided in the same year, 1986, you know, to redo the Atari 2600 and release it again. Okay, so it was already out. You know, you can still have bought in it and all that stuff, but it was a whole redesign now. And that's why I said that game that clacks came out in 1990. So this made sense on that because the Atari 2600 didn't get discontinued completely until 1992 of January. So this console lasted from 1977 to 1992. That's like two generations right there. Of like, it's, it's crazy. You could have been from the 70s and playing this and been from the 80s and still playing it and even had had the chance of playing it in the 90s. Like that's that's three whole generations. But I mean, there's it's 92. So I wouldn't consider it like fully in there, you know, but still crazy amount of time for a console. So those that's all the information I have on the Atari 2600. You know, um, overall, my opinion is that I had so much fun playing it. You know, there was a lot of bad games, of course, a lot of bad games. You know, you have to have that really big imagination when you're playing it. But overall, it was good games, though. There were there were so many good games. Like I said, Beam Rider, amazing. Frogger, amazing. Space Evader, you know, Centipede. Now, I didn't grow up with the, um, the Atari 2600. I just remember my dad and uh, my uncle, they were playing in the garage. And, you know, the Atari 2600 was out and they were playing Centipede. And I was like, whoa, that's crazy. So it became my turn. Now, I died right away. I was a little, little kid. I mean, I didn't know how to play games. So I died right away. But it didn't change the fact that, to me, it blew my mind. It was completely new to me. So that's why I have always wanted to have an Atari 2600, just so I can, you know, see what it was all about. Now that I've played it, I appreciate Atari. You know, I appreciate what it was. You know, it was in a, uh, revolutionary. It was different it went from being the generation one where you had to have the biggest imagination possible to having you know still imagination but you knew what you were doing you knew what you were playing from time to time so that was always a a great thing to have but the console was really really good i mean in my eyes i you know appreciate atari for what they release and what they have and i mean i enjoyed playing it so now that we're done with atari games we're going to have to move from the 8-bit, or what I like to call the 4-bit, and move to the 8-bit era. To move on to the Nintendo, the NES. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And you guys are ready to start watching some NES video games and all that. Maybe you grew up with it, you know, because this is more of my time. I actually owned a NES, and I actually did play it. And I still actually think I have my, yes, I do have my NES. And I have games that I grew up with. So... This is going to be fun. This is going to be um, a you know, blast from the past from my childhood. And so we're going to be able to see what I used to play. Now, I didn't have that many games. So I do have uh, 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 one of those classics. So I'm going to be able to have all those on there. But I had a very small library. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed those videos. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. We are the dreamers of dreams. Mm.